Hello everyone. We're on our way to Heliport right now because we're flying up to Salt Mountain Lodge for the week. Headed up there with my family to go splitboarding and it's really exciting. I've never been up there before but it looks beautiful from what I've seen. The only thing we're waiting on right now is there's a, a bit of low cloud and fog at the lodge. So we're gonna be waiting on that before we can get in the chopper and fly up there. But if all goes to plan, we'll be splitboarding by the afternoon. Well, clouds have cleared. We're just gearing up to uh, hop in the heli. So after that awesome heli ride, we start gearing up for our first lap. We have five days of riding up here at the lodge, and we're going to start out with some pretty mellow slopes and then work our way up from there. This is our first descent. It totals 200 meters of elevation and takes us about an hour. It smells really good right now. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, that was fun. Good line. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah, super fun. This is mellow. We're going to wrap it up throughout the week. It's nice, though. It snows fast for so something fast. like that low pitch. For our second walk, it's back up another 200 meters just in time for last night. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ride tracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today was a great start to the trip. In just three hours, we covered over four and a half kilometers. And the days are only going to get bigger and better from here. Good morning, everyone. It's the morning of day two right now, and we're just about to set off on a pretty big day. We're going to do uh, four ascents, four runs. And I'm pretty excited. I haven't done a big day like that in a long time. But yeah, it's starting to look good out there. I'll give you a little look see. My tail clip tore yesterday on the way out, so. I had to put it back together with some zap straps and some electrical tape. Hopefully it lasts the day because we're going up and over that ridge over there. It's going to be a long one. We've got a lot of vertical ahead of us today, so I have to make sure I don't wear myself out too quick. This is our first ascent, totaling 240 meters. Oh, it's good right now. Yeah, thanks for yeah, good following tracks. We're building trust here. If folks want to drop, they can follow my tracks. Oh, yeah. 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 oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> wow, this is fun in here, man. Really enjoying this. Yeah, it was really fun. Now it's back to walking for our second run. But the clouds came in on our way up, which made it hard to see the features on slope. Oh, oh that was flat! <laughs> there is a persistent weak layer in this snowpack, and I got the chance to ask one of our guides, Cam, about it. Thought process with this is that that layer is down there, but we've just got enough snow kind of on top of it that we're not likely to penetrate that deep. Yeah, we call it like bridging, and that layer is going to exist everywhere. Yeah. So where it's thin, it just means that the wind is blowing the snow off a bunch. Yeah, it's so easier it's to... it's a lot easier for us to like hit it, like our weight to go down to trigger it, whereas at 220, you're only going down, you know, maybe a meter at the most, like you're not touching yeah. it. Yeah, and it's at like 70 centimeters? Yeah, or even 50. 50, yeah, so it's pretty low. Now we're taking off for our second run. And boy, does it look like a good one. Wow, 
this is so fun. Oh, it's so good in here. Oh my God. Well, that was insane. Nice grain in there. If I do that a thousand times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Bales. That one goes if you want it. Woo! That was so fun. I love that one. Woo! Oh, that was insane. Yeah, that was a good hit. Our third walk is the shortest of the day. A 180 meter bump over this ridge and then into our next run. <laughs> nice turns! I mean, you're my saving grace. That was money. Yeah, that was great. With the last of our energy, we head back up for our final walk of the day. And it's a doozy, a 380 meter climb. Once we crest this ridge, we then Ow. make our way back towards the lodge. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Today was the biggest day I've ever had on my split board. We covered 11 kilometers of distance, 950 meters of elevation, and all within the span of eight hours. Oh, that was a really nice pitch. It's so fast. That snow is fast. Oh, it's sick. That first like kind of gully it's thing so is sick. so oh. sick, yeah. Yeah. And here's a final look at our day. But the fun doesn't stop here. After we tuck in for a good night of rest, we wake up to the sunshine on the morning of day three. And today, we're headed in a new direction. We're taking off south and running down from the lodge. Yahoo, have fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, this is a beautiful morning to be snowboarding. Holy cow. <laughs> After that fun little run, we walk up to take our second one of the day. up for run three, which will take place in this beautiful set of natural glades. I'm very stoked to be riding train like this, and what makes it even better is getting to share it with my family. Another run. Straight down's good. Okay, thank you. Bales, you could come through here and just go straight down this, it'd be awesome. There you go. Yep, open it up. Nice turn. Whose track was that you followed? <laughs> Why did he put you into the tree? That was my track. This <laughs> 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 nice Now it's time for us to make our way up for run four. We put ourselves atop this ridge, which has a nice cliff band running along it. I scoped out a hit in our way up, and once we made our transition, I decided to give it a go. Alright, have fun. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Bottom out. All right, have fun. So I want to take a moment and talk to you about this board I'm riding. This is the Hometown Hero split board from Burton. And I wish this message was brought to you by Burton, <laughs> but it's not. I just really like the board. 
I have the unsplit version of this deck at home and I was hoping this new split would ride similarly and it does. I've had splits in the past that aren't much fun on the way down but I've been able to charge on this thing and I'm really happy to have had it with me this week. And that's all for our riding today. We do have one walk left to finish off the day as our last run put us below the lodge. But that's all right because it's a beautiful afternoon for moving slowly through the woods. And as we look back at the day, it gets me even more excited for tomorrow because we're planning on bagging our longest sustained run of the trip. <laughs> All right, have fun, Mom. Look at those turns. That was a good run, eh? Oh, it was so fun. Yeah, that was awesome. It's like big turns and a little bump. Oh yeah, I was stoked when it rolled over. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get some action here. That one got the leg burning. I haven't had yeah, that yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the nice the length and just like, yeah. <laughs> you exactly. the back I just leg. drained it. <laughs> good one? Yeah. Oh man, that run was super fun. Just a big long draw top to bottom. That was really good. Now we're heading up the other side of the valley. I'm gonna go do another one. It's called Blind Faith because supposedly all the hits go. Which I'm all about that, so we'll see if that's true. <laughs> all right, up we go. <laughs> this will be fun for some folks, less for others. The easiest line is on, on the right of me, and there's probably space for two, but I want you to come down here. You should ride it. Nice. So you'll sneak in. And then just point your nose that way. Yeah, just point it straight, go super slow, hold on to this, and then just ride out through the flat side. You got that. Hey. Nice work. Yeah, just roll off and land just pointing like this way. Yeah, like pointing between, like, yeah. Okay. You got it. The only thing you're gonna just watch is just watch your backpack on this. So you're in a pretty good zone here, and you're just gonna drop in on your toes, hug this tree. Yeah, be good. Yeah, Bales. Woohoo! Nice landing. to round out day four. In only seven hours today, we covered 11 kilometers of distance and 850 meters of elevation. Now for tomorrow, we'll be using a fun new travel method, silly skiing. <laughs> it's where you set up your split board for walking, but you leave off one important part, your skins. So now you are no longer able to climb very well, but you can glide much easier, which allows you to traverse relatively flat plains more efficiently. And that's what we had to do this morning a 1.5 kilometer traverse with only about 50 meters of elevation loss. And once we completed our traverse, I remembered how I was laying in bed last night, dreaming of doing my first split board backflip. And just before I fell asleep, I said to myself that if the right feature arose, that I would flip it. And on our first run today, I was presented with my opportunity. I 
saw that hit, I was like, I'm waiting for this thing. <laughs> and up we went. A 200 meter climb for our second run. third run, just near the top, we came across this pillowed cliff feature. Kyle was game to help us get on top of it, and then he laid in a nice line for my sister Alina to follow. And then, it was her turn to give it a go. And then it was my turn. All right, uh, Liam, dropping in five. Yeah, hey, Liam, I'm just looking at your landing there. Um, when you get to the second tier, you just favor the rider's left and Copy that. Thanks, Cal. All right, we're gonna really have to creep this because it's kind of flat down there. Sweet. And now we walk back up for our final run of the trip. <laughs> yeah. And now our final walk back to the lodge. Taking a look back at our day and our week here as a whole, we covered a total of 48 kilometers of distance and 4,000 meters of elevation. As I wake up on the final morning of our trip, I'm feeling very grateful for this amazing experience, for the people I got to share it with, and for the best splitboarding of my life. Yeah.